everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Die. How are you on this uh, Tuesday? What is it? February the 8th already. And this is actually um, my Teach Me Tuesdays episode 114. And this is a by request technique. So if there's ever, and there's my sister, she's on here. So she's actually the one that requested me to do um, a kissing technique. So, yes, I'm going <laughs> to teach you how to kiss. And so that's why I put this little tiny stamp. So usually it lives up on here. I have all, like a whole bunch of retired stamps, <clears throat> individual ones that I just couldn't get rid of. And it usually sits up there. I'll put it right there. Watch me knock the whole thing off the wall. Um, so anyways, but you should have seen them like, where are those lips? And I know I have a bigger, bigger one of them, but I don't know what I do with it. So anyways, I thought it was fun because I had, I pulled out a whole bunch of stamp sets. So it wasn't like I could hold all the stamp set uh, on the picture like I usually do. So anyways, so hi, Teresa, Nancy, Ann. So, um, so we're going to blame, Candy's here too. We're going to blame my sister Jackie for this technique. And actually, I was asked to teach this years ago on one of the cruises and Jackie, you were on that one, right? I think so. And I had it demonstrated by the pool and we had this choppy choppy, um, it was kind of while we were in the choppy area and it, the boat was going at like this, right? And the water was coming out of the pool and it was kind of coming towards like I had my setup and everything. So anyways, it was, it was like, okay, let's get packed up or whatever. But so anyway, so I think Jackie was on that. I took Jackie on, on one of the trips. So, but anyways, hey, Lily's here too. So anyway, so I'm going to just teach you um, the kissing technique. It is a super fun technique. You can use it um, multiple ways. So that's what I'm going to show you. All right. I'm also going to remind you about my class. Um, in the mail for February. I'm almost to the point where I'm going to say sold out. Um, so I just want to put that um, reminder. All right, so let me get turning here. Hi, Joy. All right, so let me flip the phone and make sure that the phone is up high enough for everybody to see. All right. So this is the class that I'm talking about. Thank you so much for sharing. I love when you subscribe and you like and you share my videos. It makes um, YouTube also, right, recommend my channel. All right, so this is the class I'm talking about. So this is the February class in the mail, the Cactus Cuties Bundle. So you'll actually get the Cactus Cuties stamp set and it has the matching punch. And then you'll get the supplies to make the five cards and the little notebook. And then it's hard to see because of my water water um, mark. But there's two cute little um, cactus magnets. Um, just an extra little um, goodie that went in there. And it, ex ex and it also includes a priority postage, the PDF with the supply list. It does not have the measurements because you're going to get the card packet already ready to go. You don't have to cut your paper. You know, um, you'll have to punch, right? Um, but you don't have to cut um, like your card layers. That's what I mean. If you have to fussy cut, that's different. But I mean, you don't have to cut your card layers. They are already done for you. So I don't put sizes on my PDFs. <clears throat> it's just a step, you know, just, it's just an extra step that I usually don't do. Um, and then the private video link. So then you'll get the Cactus Cuties bundles I mentioned. You'll get a pack of mini dimensionals, the pack of the Fan Baker's Twine, and you'll use that on, on your make and takes, and the classic matte dots. And you get your choice of a $50 level celebration. So when I send you your PayPal invoice, um, make sure when you answer me, you tell me what celebration item you want. Hey, Deborah, you're doing the class. Um, because it's the $50 level, because there's a 50 level and a 100 level, so it's the $50 level. And if not, I'll just email you again. And it's 75 and includes all that. If you're a member of my team, they, um, it's a, as a little perk to being on my team, they just pay 25, but they get the guts only. And when I mean the guts, 
Um, they just get like the card stock, you know, they'll get the little notebook, you know, um, and they'll get the two little cactuses, but they will not get the celebration item because they will order everything on their own, right? They'll order their own mini dimensionals, the twine, the classic dots, the bundle so that they can get their commission on it. Um, so that's why I just say they just get the guts. But anyways, so sign up by February 10th. But like I said, I'm pretty close to being sold out because I just know my limit, right? So anyways, so make sure you let me know if you want to do that. I'm waiting to hear back from a couple um, in regards to their celebration. I got the first round of orders done. Um, so those supplies will be coming in and then... When the last few I take, then I'll, I'll order those as well. All right, so let's talk about kissing. So kissing is basically moving um, from stamp to stamp, right? All right, so let me, um, let me do one. So there's certain stamps that work better than others. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the, um, the flowering. Let me get, so I picked a whole bunch. Look at this. I picked so many stamp sets out of my cupboard. So these are all the stamp sets that I played with today. So the Hello Ladybug, Natural Textures is a great one. Sweet Conversations, Spiral Dye, Sweet Ice Cream, Flowering Rain Boots, Knit Together. Now, Knit Together was in the holiday mini catalog and it's carried over. So it's not in a catalog right now, right? Like it's not pictured, but it is still available. And this was probably my favorite. And then the watercolor shapes is great too. All right. So I wanted to list those so I can get them off my desk because I have ink pads all over the place. All right. So what I want to show you is, so we're going to take our misty moonlight and we're going to take our watering can and i was like oh this might look pretty cool so i'm going to take so this is this weavy looking thing all right so i'm going to ink up my watering can and i'm going to just stamp it solid so you can see like with and without now this is a little bit different because it's already got kind of that pattern to it. So it doesn't show as good as I hoped. So let me show you what I mean. So then what I'm doing is I'm inking this up. And then while it's got that ink on there, this is not inked. I'm gonna press that right on top of this stamp. And what it does is it'll pick that texture up on the stamp. Now I'm gonna breathe on it. I'm just gonna breathe on a little bit. All right, I'm not really gonna do anything with these today. I'm just stamping just to show you how fun it is. All right. So my paper wasn't big enough to go side by side, but you can see. So this is where it was stamped, just regular. So it already kind of has that look to it. And then this one, you can see the texture from that stamp and it picks it up on here and then it puts it on to the stamp. So now the um, watering can has a little bit more texture to it. But like I said, it's not as strong, you know, as you would necessarily see it if this was like a solid. All right, so let me put, I'm gonna clean this because that's important. What you want to do is you want to be cleaning that in between. Like you, cause you don't want to keep going into that, right? Because next you might pink a pick or pick a pink. All right. Now what you can do is, let me wash my, what you will call it as well. What you can do is, let me take a light. I'm going to pick my light pool. So you can pick your light pool. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of this on here. All right, so now I put some Misty Moonlight on this and I'm going to ink up my watering can with Pool Party. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Now remember there's ink on here now. 
Now it's going to be a little slippery. Let me get a piece of paper. Let me get some paper. I just cut a bunch of um, cardstock so I could stamp. And, I, and you just breathe on it. And now your watering can looks like this. So see the difference if you ink up in like a lighter color. So now you can kind of see it a little bit better, but still it's not quite the same as if it was a solid, but it still kind of gives you um, a cool kind of look. All right, so let me wash. All right, wash. All right, so let's see. So I'm done with the watering can right now. So I'm gonna have a stack of stuff everywhere. Okay, so we did the watering can. Let's see. Let's do, let's do, let's do this little guy. All right, so I'm going to close Misty and pool. All right, so now we have our cute little solid. So see, this is a nice solid one. It doesn't have the texture to it right? So this is going to go into the magenta. And then I'm going to pull this one. So this is a nice big, this is that knit together one. So I'm going to ink up my cute little ladybug. Aloha, Minda. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I've not been paying attention. Um, so I think you were Jackie. And I know Tracy was on there. And I know you girls were trying to help me pack my stuff up because of the water, right? Because they were closing the pool. All right, so now I inked this up. And now this is dry. There is no ink on this at all. And I'm going to press. And you can pretty much see it on there. Oh, isn't that so cute? Because now look at your little ladybug. Your little ladybug has got that knitted fabric look to her. Isn't that cute? I think she turned out cute. All right. So I had a lot of fun with this one. Now the, um, let's see. Let me get this ink. Am I done with the pink? I think I'm done with pink right now. I just was like pulling out all my inks and trying to see what went good together. Now I need to remember that the ladybug is right there. All right. Because this is so big, you can use it multiple times. All right, so, but what I really thought was cool, and this is one of the watercolor ones. So it does kind of have this look to it, right? It's not totally solid. It's got kind of um, like a watercolor look. It's light and it's, um, it's dark, like where it, how it's made. So this is, which Highland, Highland, yeah, Highland Tether. So I'm going to ink this up pretty good with the Highland Tether. Thank you so much for sharing. I love that. I have met so many fun people from everybody watching my channel. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. Push that on there. <sighs> Give it a breath. and put it on here and look how cool that is oh my gosh so this i think is, <clears throat> was almost like my favorite because it just gives you a whole different you know like look right like this is just like look at this this is what this really does if you don't ink it up into that thing so let me get it inked up really good just so i don't by accident have any more of that texture on there all right so this is where you what it would look like if you didn't do that right just so you can see the difference let me spin this spin it spin it I'm trying to save up some space on my paper so this is just on there right so look at the difference this if you don't have the watercolor stamp set you really need to get it because it is super fun right so look at so it's the same stamp. It just because it picks up the texture 
off of the knit together. So I loved how that one turned out. All right, let's see what else did I do. I have like my sheet of paper that I played with. All right, so let me get another piece of paper. Let's see, am I, I'm gonna use this again one more time. All right, so let me close this. Now, some of the stamp sets, so like for instance, the, um, So this is mint or soft sea foam. So the, the um, ice cream one. So the ice cream one has, um, let me wash the ice cream off, just in case I didn't have a wash already. Um, so the ice cream one already has like sprinkles, right? So you would, so this is what you're supposed to do with it. You know, there's no rules in stamping, right? There's no rules. And there's no mistakes either, just design changes. All right, so this would be mint macaron. It's very, very light, and I picked it light for a reason. Maybe you can't even see it on the thing. Can you see how light that is? It's very, very light. And then Bermuda Bay, so you would put your little sprinkles on it, you know? But let's say we ink it up. So we've got our mint macaron, or soft sea foam. I don't know why I keep saying mint macaron. So soft sea foam. And then it's got the ink on it already. So we're gonna take our sprinkles and we're gonna put our sprinkles right on the ice cream itself. <sighs> Good morning, Brenton. And then when you stamp it, the sprinkles are like right on there. Like, like it goes all the way around. Now I could have totally filled that up, right? Like I could have put more sprinkles on each side, but you get the idea. So you're able to get more like on the whole ice cream, right? And what is even cooler, all right, I'm done with those two, what is even cooler and like looking around. Okay, so this also comes with, you know, you've got your ice cream cone. So I'm looking for my soft suede. All right, so we have our soft suede. And we have our cute little um, triangle ice cream cone. And then what you can do, let me wash that. You can do the same kind of thing. So this also has this. All right, so let me, let me see, let me see. Yeah, so let me show you what you can do. So you can do this, so I'll show you. And then this would go right on top. So you can do that, right? Just like this, right? This was stamped directly on there. Or, I'm cleaning that off. So we're gonna ink this up again. It's just so much fun to see, you know, what, what they look like, right? All right, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it on here. Now remember it's ink, you know, it's got ink on it, so it's a little slick. So you just want to be careful. So it's very subtle, but you can see that design on here. But what I thought was even cooler, so I'm, I'm washing this off. So let's do soft suede. And then I'm going to put it on our knit together. Was it the knit together one I used? Hang on a minute. Where's my, where's my, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so knit together. So then our, um, what you want to call it? Our, our cone, it looks almost even more like a cone, right? Because that is almost more like the texture that would be on the ice cream cone. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm like looking around. Okay, I'm gonna try it on this one too. So this is one of those other ones. Now this is a hostess set. So this is, Oh, 
on that. So this one looks even more like the cone. So see, it's just so fun to put a texture to it. So it doesn't matter. Like some of our stamp sets have texture, you know, like some of these that I've been using, the watering can. So this is kind of, you can add your own. All right, so where's my sheet? So I can see what else I did. All right, hold on, okay. So then let me wash. So let's pull out the leaf for the ladybug. All right, so we have our ladybug leaf. And I want this. All right, because I think I'm done with the, the brown. All right, so we're gonna take our ladybug leaf And we're gonna ink up our ladybug leaf in Old Olive. And then, so she already kind of has those lines, right? I don't know why I'm saying she. All right, then I'm gonna lay it into this one. So this one's got these kind of lines to me, which kind of makes me think of nature. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push that on the stamp and then down. So this one doesn't show as much. And I think it depends on how much your ink pad is inked, but you definitely have like a different texture. So let me show you it without that. So you can see the difference. And then it just depends, right? Like this has more lines. Let's do it on this one because you know, this is my favorite one. But I'm gonna take a baby wipe and get some of this ink off of here. Now, this isn't how I usually clean them, but just for the video, I'm just getting some of that ink off of there and then I'll clean it really, really good after. All right. Okay, so let's try the leaf on. Cause then you then you totally will look at your stamps different. I cause I think when you leave the video, leave the live today, you'll be going, you'll be looking at the catalog going, wonder what that would look like. And it's you know, it's just ink and paper, right? So see, look how cool that is. So that looks pretty cool too. So you definitely notice more of a pattern here than you do here. This one, this one is a little harder to see. All right, so that looked cool. All right, what else did I do? Oh, oh, this is cool too. All right, so let me get, I'm like looking around for the stamps because the one is still in the box. All right, so let's do this one. And it's still in the box because I only have one of those big background blocks. And for what I'm using it for, I don't need it on a block anyways. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, this is the another one of the watercolor ones. This is the circle one. And I'm gonna take the Bermuda and I'm just gonna ink up the stamp with the Bermuda Bay. And I'm just kind of breathing on this even though there's no ink yet. And it's just gonna add a little bit of my hot breath on there. Then I'm gonna go down here, pick this up, then I'm gonna breathe again and stamp. And now you've got this really cool spiral in just a circle, right? Because it's this huge stamp. But now we've channeled it, right? We've like made it come here. I wonder if I can, let's see if I can spin it. <sighs> I didn't re-ink it. I just wanna see if I spin it, if I can get that. So that kind of looks cool, right? Cause now you've got kind of two colors there 
but I just try to stay within the circle. It's just really hard to see. But anyways, but that's cool, right? All right. So let's see, what else did I do with that? So I also did it with another color and I wasn't a big fan, but let's try it with the pool party. Like we did that other one. So let me wash it. Because sometimes you might not like something and it's just the color. It's just the, um, the color combination. All right. So I'm gonna ink this up in pool party. And then we're gonna go on to here and see how we like it. So this was again, Bermuda Bay. And now this is the pool party. So we're gonna go on here. And you definitely would not go like, cause there's just got pool party on it, right? And now I'm gonna go down here onto the Bermuda Bay. So you do want to be careful about mixing your inks. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute when I do a different way to do this. So see, I didn't really care for that as much. Because to me, it kind of takes away from this look. Right? Now, it would look cool if you like die cut it out into a shape. Then it would look cool. But just alone by itself. I'm not a fan. This looks cool because you've got those two things there. And I think because you've got your your edge, right? Like here you've got this whole circle and I'm not a big fan. I like this because then it just looks like a pattern in a circle shape, but not a definite circle line. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So let's see. We're gonna do red. Now I will wash this after. All right, we're gonna do red. So we have real red. And where is my heart? Oh, there it is. All right, so we're gonna do um, heart. And I just put my finger right in the ink pad. Look at my fingers. I just put it right in the ink pad. <laughs> hey, you're not having fun if your fingers aren't all inked up. All right, so now we're gonna go red. This is for the hot, the uh, Valentine said, red. Like I said, I love it in the knit together. So that is so cool. So is this one. So the watercolor and the knit together, they go so well together. Like, look at how cool that is. All right, now you can also, where's my square? So here's my square. I want, so I'm just gonna use daffodil. So again, you wanna have, so this is what I mean by, you wanna have a light color and a dark color. So I'm gonna put my daffodil on the square. And then, let me wash it. Let me wash it. Cause now I'm wondering if I didn't wash it from my play. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna ink that up again in the daffodil. Ink, ink, ink in the daffodil. All right, we've got our daffodil. And then these are the little flowers that come with the ladybug set. So these are nice and solid. They're a nice solid stamp. So I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna ink up my little flowers in my red pad. And I'm gonna bring them right over and stamp on here, which has the yellow. Now, if you're worried about the yellow getting, you know, into that, just like take a grid sheet or whatever. I'll just use this and stamp off some of that. So that you're not getting, especially if you're doing a whole bunch. If you're just doing a couple, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but if you're like doing a swap and you're doing like a hundred cards or something, I don't think I'd want to keep going, getting a, a yellow in my uh, red. You definitely would not do vice versa, but then the yellow flowers wouldn't show up anyway on the red. All right. And it will wiggle a little bit, you know, because that ink is wet, right? 
Okay, then you're gonna breathe on it again. I'm like hyperventilating over here. If I pass out, not call 911. All right. And then, then you got this cool look. So now it's like a whole other kind of stamp. And then you can see, see them on there, right? But you don't have to put the yellow. You could just do directly right on the stamp. So let me see. I'm washing that over here. <sighs> so let's put it right on here. My cleaning thing is going to be full of ink. All right. So let's put this red right on here. So this time there was no ink on here. Just to show you the difference. Ooh, and it sticks, right? So look how cool that is. So it's almost like you're making stamps, right? Because this is just these three little stamps, but you put these two together and now you've made this stamp, right? And you don't have to cut it out. Like if you wanted to have that on, on a card and then let's say, let me get my men memento out. Where's my greeting? Here, let's see. Let's play a little bit. Where are my pieces? Let's see. Let's see. Here's a thank you. I'm like looking for an empty block. I have blocks everywhere. All right. So let's just ink up our thank you. I'm just taking my memento. And I just grabbed the thank you, which is part of the um, part of the ice cream set, just because it's on my desk. And then we're just gonna stamp that right over there. So see, wouldn't that be cute on a simple little like three by three card, the little love notes? You can just decorate it so simple. You're not adding any layers. All right, so let's see what else do I have I can stamp on. Hang on a minute. Let's see. This, oh my gosh, I love this so much. All right, now this, I totally would, I wanna um, play around and die cut out a bunch of some of those shapes because I just love that texture. And then it almost looks like you're making your own DSP. All right, so let's do the same thing. So I'm just playing with these. I'm not gonna make anything with them. I just kind of wanted to show you the, the idea. So stamp that in the center. So look how cute that is. And then we have our cute little ladybug. So let's cut her so we can punch her out. So we're gonna punch our little ladybug out. So punch her out, like upside down. So I wasn't paying attention to how I stamped her. Cause we're just playing. All right, so there's her cute little body. Don't pinch yourself. All right, so there's her cute, cute little body. And then earlier I punched out some of her wings in black. So that's kind of cute, right? Little ladybug. But I just love the pattern on her. And it looks even cute when you punch her out, even cuter. Um, I am lucky to have such a cool sister to request that technique, Jackie sister. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to see. So I'm like looking at, so these are all my little cheat sheets that I was looking at, you know, that I played with earlier. So here was that red heart. I did it with the polished pink 
and I used, um, it's one of those square ones right here. And I didn't that as much. So that's why you want to just play. Just practice and play because some things work better. Like this knit one, oh my gosh. I just, I mean, I can't express how much I like that. And then I tried the boots. I have all these little things hanging up all over the desk. All right, so here's the boots. So they didn't show up as good either. And I think it's just the style of the stamp, right? But, you know, you could see it kind of more on the watering can. I mean, you can see it on the boots, but I don't think it's in your face, right? Like, I don't think somebody, or you don't, maybe you don't necessarily want somebody to know you change something. But I do like adding the two colors. Oh, yeah, Lily. Um, she's a good sister. She has a really good memory. My memory is not so good. So, um, but I like how that looked. Let's see what else did I have here. Oh, so here's why I chose the, the um, green that I keep calling, oh, the soft one. Because first I picked Granny Apple. So this is why you want to play. I picked Granny Apple because I love Granny Apple. And then you could hardly see the sprinkles. So I thought, well, I'll go a little um, lighter with my green. So then I did pick, pick the mint macaron. You could see a little bit better. And then I'm like, well, let me try the soft sea foam. So that's, you know, kind of gives you the idea. And then here I just played with the cone. So it, it's fun to get your stuff out. Okay, I just did that one. And then... So here's the other one I played with. This one was Garden Green, and I had just inked that one recently, so it didn't show as much. This was Balmy Blue and the and the Bermuda. So I think I just like just that one. All right, but I think that was all the little pieces. I have a couple more scrap papers. So if there's anything, if there's anything you want me to show real quick before I say bye. Um, let me know if you want to see something in particular in regards to the kissing. Um, otherwise, I wonder how, I wonder, let me see. Where's my little ladybug? Here you are, ladybug, where are you? It's hiding. There it is. What if, okay, so she was vanilla. Let me do it on the vanilla. So this is, so I haven't done this yet. So this is the little um, wings. So let me ink them up with the black. And then I'm going to stamp them on that, whatchamacallit, knit together and see what that looks like. That looks like poop. So that's not a good one. And it could just be... Uh, Memento might not be the ink to do. Let me try it in a different color. It just might be that Memento doesn't work as good. All right, let's try a different color. So this is basically what I did while I was playing around. So definitely um, play with your stuff. And I want you to um, show me what you come up with because you might come up with something totally better. All right, so let's try Highland for the wings. All right, so let's try Highland because we know that worked good with the um, triangle. So let me bring this over here. So you can see, can you see all the designs on here? So then I can tell where not to stamp. All right, so this is Highland. Ooh, that looks kind of cute. Look at that. So maybe it's just um, the water-based ink kind of does better, but look how look at the cute little um, pattern on there. All right, so let's see here. Let's see. Where's my punch? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I have to do a Insta Hop card. All right. 
So maybe I'll have to come up with something, but that's kind of cute, right? Look how cute she is. So that uses both of those patterns. Oh, my sister said yes. Yes, Carol, the black look like poop. We don't want stamp poop. This looks adorable. Um, yeah, my sister said the last suggestion was the mirror stamping and I did it with the sharks. Remember that? So can you see that? That looks so cute. She almost looks like a knitted little um, butterfly or whatever she is, ladybug. Um, love the technique and your advice on playing around with our stamps to come up with something we like. Hi, Anna. We're doing kissing. Um, but I love how those two, it makes her totally look different, right? And it adds that um, pattern to it, which to me, you don't have to hardly do anything else to her, right? Like if you did something solid, you would you feel the need that you would have to do something else to it. And then she just almost looks like a little piece of knitted something you would put on a quilt. So I think I might have to come up with, with a card with her because she is stinking adorable. And, and it was so easy, right? So easy, especially with the big knit together. I could have half of it, you know, when I clean it, like one side can be the, the um, ladybug, one side can be the wings. And then I would just have to wash. I need to make sure I get that memento off there. But, um, so yeah, so maybe I'll have to do a card with the ladybug. Everything else I was just kind of to show you. I probably won't do cards with any of the other ones that I can think of, except maybe die cutting out that rectangle that I can't get enough out of. But, ooh, what a mess. But anyway, so I love how the ladybug turned out. So see, you guys were right here. You witnessed that was just, just, just tried. Didn't know for sure. Oh, what background stamp? Um, I used a bunch, but the one I'm really, really liking is the Knit Together. And that is item number because it's not in the catalog. This is a carryover from the holiday. So the item number for Knit Together is 156416. And I also used... Um, I also use spiral if you like the look of this one. So this is the spiral one. But I really, really loved the knit together was a little bit better. And then the hostess set. Um, this hostess set is another good one too. So, except the, the only ones I really cared for were these two. These ones were just kind of so-so. And this is kind of similar to that one. So, but knit together, I'm definitely doing something with the ladybug. So, so see, Deborah, I'm the same way. I was just like, that knit together is so fun. I love the, the little texture left. And you could even probably go, um, all right, I washed that off. Okay, I'm gonna try this. You're probably like, okay, shut up. All right, so here we go. We're gonna wash this. So let's see what this looks like. All right, I'm washing this. Cause I like to try things. All right, so we've got that. So this might not even work. All right, so I'm gonna go yellow again. So I put daffodil. Then I'm gonna go knit together. And then I'm gonna go red flowers. So I only did one and I can see where I need to wash it a little better. So that looks super cute too. So look at that, that was like the knit together with the flowers. 
So that gives you a whole different look too. So where's my greeting? So that would also make a fun little, um, that lid is going to drive me up the wall. How oh, it sticks. All right, so let's see. We have our thank you. Let me spin it this way. So if we did a cute little three by three love note, it wouldn't say thank you, would it? It would say, I love you the mostest. So look how cute that is. You wouldn't have to use black. I'm just grabbing the black because I had used it already. But but that makes a cute, simple little card. And then it looks, you know, it's got it's all it has all those dimensions to it because it's got that texture there. So, anyways. So I don't think so. I definitely will do one with the ladybug. <laughs> Oh, you like the spiral watercolor one? Because that did turn out pretty cool. So what I should have did is after I stamped it the first time, I should have just immediately spun it and stamped, right? And then I think you would stay in the circle more, but, but that looks cool. So anyway, so I'm glad you like that. So thank you, Jackie, for that suggestion. Oh. I taught you some more. I love teaching. I love teaching you more stuff, sister. So I always wanted to be a teacher when I grew up. I always wanted to be a teacher. I always want to do stuff with art and there, look. But I didn't want to have to blow people's noses, right? I mean, kids. I didn't want to be a teacher of small kids with boogers. <laughs> I didn't want that. So Stampin' Up! was like the perfect thing, right? So I'm teaching art stuff. And I don't have to wipe anybody's nose. So anyway, so there was some TMI. So um, anyways, all right. So thanks so much for watching today. And if there's ever a technique you want me to show, always reach out to me. Uh, you don't have to be my sister <laughs> to, to request a technique. Um, because I definitely like a challenge. You know, at least the two techniques that Jackie had me do, um, I had done before. Even it was a long time ago. <laughs> but, um, so definitely. So, so watch for that. Um, if I do the little ladybug as my Insta hop, I won't be able to share it till Friday. <laughs> so anyways. All right. So I will see you tomorrow for our Whatcha Making Wednesdays. And that will be 3 o'clock Arizona time. Same time, same channel. And, um, oh, thanks so much. I do I do love my job, for sure. And I think if we are all blessed to love our job, we are very lucky people. And um, I do feel that. I am very, very lucky and very blessed um, that Stampin' Up! came along when they did and allowed me to stay home and work from home so I could be home when Eric got off the bus. And, and most of you know that whole story, so I'm not even gonna go, gonna go um, into it, but um, it, it has really been great for our family. So, um, and I have met all you lovely people. So I love it so much. All right, so I'm gonna say see you later. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night and thank you for um, spending some time with me. You fill my heart. You make me feel so good. So um, I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye for now.